anti-corruption in Chinese football, cure for revitalizing the industry. Currently, the second large-scale anti-corruption campaign in Chinese football is vigorous, and the judicial investigation is stronger than it was 11 years ago. However, whether Chinese football can take the opportunity to be reborn depends on how the youth training system is repaired. On March 24th, the official website of the state sports general administration announced that Wang Xiaoping, director of the disciplinary committee of the Chinese Football Association, was suspected of serious violations of laws and regulations, and Huang Song, director of the competition department of the Chinese Football Association, was suspected of serious violations of discipline and laws. According to official announcements, there are already six real power figures in the Chinese football field who are suspected of serious violations of law and discipline and have been investigated. Chen Zaiyun, who was elected as the chairman of the Chinese Football Association from August 2019 to February 2023. Lili, who served as the secretary general of the Chinese Football Association from August 2019 to the end of 2022. Chen Yongling, the executive deputy secretary general of the Football Association and the minister of state administration. Lai Tai, Wen Xiaoping and Huang Song, who was served as the head coaches of the national team from January 2020 to December 2021. The main line of anti-corruption and anti-crime targeting Chinese football players and the branch line of catching gambling and cracking down on players involved in gambling are currently going hand in hand. On March 23rd, at the National Football Training Center, more than 100 representatives, including deputy mayors and directors of sports bureaus of many places, participated in the National Football Development Key City Work Conference. According to the three five-year plans for football development, in 2035, football will become a symbolic cause of China's sports power. Du Zhekai, deputy director of the state sports general administration and secretary of the party committee of the Chinese Football Association, repeatedly emphasized the importance of youth training at the meeting. Campus teams, social youth training organization teams, and professional club echelons, the three major sections of the youth training system are indispensable. Perhaps only when the youth training is implemented on campus and in competitions from the level of meetings, documents, and slogans can Chinese football truly feel the budding vitality. Subscribe to us today for industry insights or visit www.monasite.biz for more information.